Hello everyone, welcome to HR Electrical. In today's video, I will be describing about the electrical symbol of electrical component which are most commonly used in an industrial environment. Let's begin with our first component which is the fuse. Fuse is represented by this wave like a thin wires and two wires at the straight end. This is the electrical representation of the fuse. And this, if you see as any symbol similar to this kind of symbol in any electrical drawing, that means it's the fuse. And on my right hand side you can see the industrial fuses and this is the pictorial representation of the fuses which are used in a real industrial environment. Now the fuse is the most important component in any electrical circuit because it saves the device in case of a short circuit or if there is any power failure or something like that. Now let's talk about the next most commonly used electrical symbol which are the switches. So switches are represented by different kind of electrical symbol. Now let's take this first one which is single pole single through which means if the power is coming on the left hand side of this switch when this switch will close it will transfer power to the another leg of the switch. So let's see on this uh, pictorial representation of a single pole single through switch. So this is the same switch which, are, which is represented by this symbol over here. So if I put the power to the one leg of my terminal here when the switch is turned on the power other, other leg will get energized and the power will transfer through the another another terminal on the switch now let's look at the uh, second one which is a single pole double through which means it have a one common entry point but it can energize the two outputs on the switch so for example if i put my power in the middle of this terminal and if i turn my this switch to the right hand side then this terminal will be energized if I turn this terminal to my left hand side, then this terminal will be energized. So this means particularly it has a one common point, but it can activate the two outputs, this on our, this one and the, this one. And the another representation is uh, that you will see in an electrical drawing is with this. This is this means normally open switch, and this means this is normally closed switch. So normally open is basically the switch is not energized and it's open and the circuit is not getting any power and normally closed means the switch is energized and the power is being transferred from up this terminal 11 to terminal 12. Now let's describe about the next electrical symbol which are the relays. So relays are represented by this electrical symbol over here. So this round circular thing is described as a coil of the relay and this is described as this switch on the relay. So single pole single through and single pole double through which basically means same as I described as a switches. So let me describe uh, briefly how the relay is functioning and you can relate this with the symbol so you guys can have a better understanding of this thing. So the relay have a coil so which is represented by this part over here and whenever the coil is energized that means if I put my power on A1 and A2 on this relay the coil will be energized and it will create a magnetic force and with that magnetic force it will pull this switch to this terminal over here and the whole thing is going to be energized and you can take your output from this point over here and on this side you can see some uh, pictorial representation of the relays that are most commonly used in an industrial environment let's describe about the next electrical component which is the transformer so the transformer is represented by this electrical symbol here and the motor is represented by this electrical symbol here. Motor, motor is just a basically a M written in a circle. So if you see any kind of electrical drawing where you find a circle with a M, that means it's the motor, it's representing the electrical motor in that circuit over there. Now the transformer are used to convert the power. So for example, let's say if you need a 110 and you have the 600 in the main panel, so we can wire the 600 to the transformer and we can take the 110 from this transformer. So transformer are basically used to convert the power. And the motors are the basically most common electrical component and in, in, in any industrial uh, environment to drive the conveyors or any other purposes. Now let's describe about the industrial contactor. So this is the pictorial representation how the contactor look like in a real industrial environment. 
and this is the electrical representation of that contactor so basically how contactor work is the contactor have a coil this representation of the coil a1 and a2 whenever i will put so this same coil is being represented over here in this symbol so whenever i will put the power to this coil what will happen is this coil will create a magnetic field and it will put, pull all the these contacts and it will energize this rungs over here this one so the power can flow continuously through this so these main contacts they are represented by this terminals on this pictorial representation and when the power is then the power is transferred through the overload so the overload this this is the pictorial representation of the overload and this is the electrical representation of that overload so the overload act as a savior in case of a power failure or if there is any short in a line then the overload will trip and it will save our electrical motor so if you look at these symbols they are most commonly you will see on any kind of electrical drawings if you see the straight line that means it's just a wire on that drawing and if those wires they are being shown as the cross with the dot in the center that means they are joined there together and this symbol is for the grounding and this symbol is for the ac representation for the ac voltage and the symbol with the plus and negative sign inside that represent the dc voltage now for example let's take let's take this uh, power supply so this power supply will take uh, ac voltage as an input and dc voltage as a output so the ac voltage which come into this power supply that will be represented by this symbol over here and the dc dc voltage coming out from this electrical supply will be represented by this dc power dc symbol over here so that's pretty much about the basic most common electrical symbol that are used in an electrical drawing in any industrial environment and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and i will combine these symbols together and i will make these drawings and i will try to explain the circuits how they are functioning in more further videos thank you for watching